In this video, we provide the solution to question number 10 for practice exam um, number three for math 1050, in which case we're given a rational function x to the fourth minus one over x squared minus four, and we're asked to compute the quotient and remainder for this rational function. That is to say, we need to do long division of polynomials. Uh, so let's give ourselves some space there. Um, in the numerator, that's going to be our dividend here. We have x to the fourth, leave a space for x cubed, leave a space for x squared, leave a space for x, then we have a minus one right there. It's, it's best to keep things well aligned. And then as our divisor, we have x squared minus four. Again, remember there's a spot for the x there like so. And so then with this, we're going to get started. Um, take the leading term of the dividend, consider the leading term of the divisor. We're going to just quickly do the monomial division right there. x to the fourth divided by x squared is x squared. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take x squared and times it by the divisor x squared minus 4. This gives us x to the fourth minus 4x squared. We record this above, so x squared is part of the quotient. We times the divisor by x squared, which we did. This then gives us x to the fourth minus 4x squared. We subtract this from above. So we see, of course, that the x to the fourth will cancel out. These should always cancel out. Uh, there's actually no x cubed terms whatsoever, so no, no big deal there. You have 0x squared minus minus negative uh, minus minus 4x squared so that gives us a positive 4x squared and then bring down the negative one like so then we rinse and repeat we take the leading coefficient of the new dividend because this will shrink over time then we and we compare that to the leading term of the divisor that doesn't change throughout the problem um, and so we have this time 4x squared divided by x squared that gives us just a four so that's good, what we're going to record on top. So we now have the quotient, um, x squared plus 4. But then we need to take the divisor and times everything by 4. 4 times x squared minus 4, like so. This will give us 4x squared minus 16. We then record that here. 4x squared minus 16. We subtract this from above. Same thing again. The leading term should cancel out. 4x squared minus 4x squared. They're a goner. Uh, then for the next one, you have a negative 1 minus negative 16. So 16 minus 1 is going to give us 15. This is going to be our remainder. You could record it up here if you want to. x squared plus 4 remainder 15. Honestly, the way I like to write it is in the following manner. So r of x, remember that was equal to x to the 4th minus 1 over uh, x squared minus 4. So this is then equal by the calculation we just did. This is x squared plus 4 and then plus 15 over x squared minus 4. And so we should label this in some degree. This of course is our quotient and this is our remainder. And that then gives us the answer. The quotient is x squared plus 4 and the remainder is 15.